Okay, so now we're just going to be talking about the different formulations of valproic acid. So there's three sort of categories we're going to be going into. There's valproic acid, there's Depakote DR, and then Depakote ER. So the valproic acid is just the irreducible valproic acid molecule. And the brand name here is Depakine, not Depakote. So this comes in two different formulations. There's the capsule, and then there's the liquid or syrup. And at least at my hospital, if you said Depakine, you were kind of implying that you're using the liquid valproic acid. So the next one is Depakote DR or Depakote delayed release. So the coat in Depakote is a cute little play on enteric coated capsule. So the first name was Depakine and then they added an enteric coated capsule that makes it a little bit more protective for your stomach and they needed Depakote. So it's called Depakote delayed release because it's absorbed a little bit slower. So the therapeutic effect of Depakote and Depakine are essentially similar. The only difference is that Depakote is a little bit better on the stomach so it has less GI side effects. And then there's actually two different formulations of this. So there's the enteric coated capsule, and then there's also the sprinkles. So for the sprinkles, you can sprinkle on food, but it only comes in 125 milligrams. So you'd have to use a ton of capsules if you wanted to make a full dose. And then the last one is Depakote ER or extended release. And this is the only one that's FDA approved for use once a day, but in truth, you can probably use all of them once a day. So in studies, the extended release is better tolerated than delayed release. So it has less of a tremor, less of the weight gain, less GI side effects. And one really important thing to know is that if you switch from DR or Depakine to the extended release, you need to raise the dose of the medication. So the extended release doesn't fully dissolve until it's in the colon, and the colon doesn't absorb as well as the small intestine, so a lot of the drug gets excreted out of the body. So to make up for this, you usually have to increase the dose about 10 to 20% if you're switching to Depakote ER.